The question is, <clears throat> am I a spiritual person? The answer is no. No. 75 years old, I come home, it's working all day, you know what I think about. I got moved four tons of dirt within three days. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, is there more to life than moving dirt? God's food, God's garden, God's body, God's law. It's that simple. What is real, what is not real? You gotta eat. I deal with diseases all day long, literally all day long. Today was a first. In business 30 years and today was a first. A doctor approached me. He says, what's your opinion of diseases? And I said to him, are you sure? And she says, what do you mean? I said, are you sure you want to know the truth? And that was a really tough one. You know, I wasn't sure what to say. I thought she, they would walk out on me, never want to hear me again. Because what I would say, it's God's love, God's garden, God's body, God's food. That's it. To heal any disease, that's the secret. And she, they looked at me. I looked at them. And I went to guys, are you sure you want to hear the truth, in my opinion? I said, in my opinion, as a humble dishwasher, with no medical experience, no medical background, the only thing I know is God's food, God's garden, God's food. That's the only thing I know. And I'm not even sure whether I know that that well, because right now I'm sitting down, relaxing on four tons of dirt. And I know within one week that's going to be gone. You know, that's the way it is. And then you've got to put it in the garden. And then my goal is to stop the weeds. So right now I'm going to get a weed, 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 uh, weed, weed machine, use some labor, I got top my cucumbers and I start my kiwi tree. That's why I know. Shout out to Chelsea. Chelsea said she's going to come and help me, maybe a couple other people. Um, but this is what I do. So I explained to the doctor my opinion. And you know what they said to me? I agree. I said, what the heck did I say to you that you agree? She said, everything that you said, I agree. I said, wow. She, I must say the name, I don't want to say the gender, but it was a doctor in training. And uh, they agreed with everything I said. Kind of took me, uh, I was a little bit, little bit of shock. Then they bought my book. And then I came home. Start the day over again. And, you know, I look around, and now, now that I'm doing gardening, and I got, I would say, about 3,000 square feet, 50 raised beds, 20, 20, 25 trees. And then everywhere I look, there's, there's, there's grass. And I see trees. Everywhere I look, I see grass, and I want to be trees. Think about it. That there are fruit trees in urban Philadelphia and there are no places to eat other than off the trees, what would happen? And it's coming to that point. It really is. The forces to be are forcing a lot of these businesses to, um, to stop. To stop meaning that it's really tough for them financially to continue because of whatever reason. Labor shortage, Food prices, um, so many factors, and there's time for another uh, force to be coming. The force is plenty of land, plenty of trees to be grown. Okay, this is signing them off. Looking for more trees to grow, looking for more spaces, and I think it's going to come. Bye.